Welcome to AAP Variety Channel. Smash the like, fool. Rise and shine, Nelly and Maybell. Hope everybody's having a good day today. We're going to go ahead and put in a fence so they can go outside and play during the daytime while the sun's out. We got pole number one in right here. We're going to go on around this way with it, work our way to the backyard. Give them a nice little area to go out and romp around and have some fun in. So that's pole number one. Twelve more to go. Always make sure you're level. What we're actually doing is going to space these poles out about every 20 feet on this run right here. I had to go a little bit shorter than that because we're going to be running into a corner post right up in this area. And then we're going to jet off back that way into the backyard. Now we did go with the barbed wire method over the electric fence method. One, because we got the small youngins out here. Two, because we're going to have the chickens and turkeys and don't want them getting zapped and getting hurt. The barbed wire, it can get you, but normally after you get hit by it one time, you kind of know to stay away from it, not to be climbing around on it. So we're going to put three to four rows of barbed wire all the way around. The ground's frozen solid right now. You got to get through about six inches of ice to get to the soft dirt that's down there. They'll have this whole entire area right through here to play in. We got some nice weather coming up too. This snow should be gone in the next couple of days. It's going to be up to 60 degrees in the next three days, so it's going to be nice. We like the snow, but I'm ready to get rid of it. So they'll have this little area right through here to play in. And then next year, as they get bigger, get older, I'll add to this and extend it out. Now this whole area right through here is going to be all garden in here. And I still got the second field beyond them trees back there. Not sure exactly what I'm going to do back there yet. But we're going to be going around the whole entire property with different types of edible plants. So one other thing you got to do when you're putting up this fencing is look at your path that they're going to be walking on and make sure you don't have any objects in their path like these bricks right here. And there's a piece of metal right here in the ground. I don't even know what this is yet, but uh, you're going to have to get that out. Look at that, everybody. A tea steak. And that's actually still usable, so... That'll come in handy around here. Might use it to stake up some tomatoes or some other type of garden plant, but yeah, that'll be good. Whew, that first six inches will get you. Right, and if you charge somebody $600 to do this in three hours, that's your own amount. Down just a tad on your side. I can't shoot no more. That's all I need to cut the last. So what we did is four rows of barbed wire right here. So that should be perfect for cattle. So. We've done that all the way around. We've got three stakes left to put the fourth row on and then the cows will be able to come out for the first time since we got them. Come on, mate, Bell, Nelly. First time getting the cows out. They don't have any idea what's going on. Looks like Leaf just got home from the school bus. Hey, Maybell. Let them walk with the, Oh, she's Orion. She's taking off. <laughs> they don't know what's going on. No, I ain't getting through there. 
What you doing, me, Bell? Bella, don't do that. Bella, don't chase him around. Watch out, me, Bell. Smart. Yeah. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. Yep. You'll learn pretty quick not to run into the fence. Why is she bite? Lee, stop. <laughs> Don't run out there, Lachlan. You're scaring her. She'll get used to it. All right, good girl, me, Bell. She had some diarrhea. We had to put her on some electrolytes. Plus, we're adding a little apple cider vinegar to their bottles. Come on. You got to get used to that. She's getting used to running around. Quit chasing her, please. Right. How was your day, son? Good. That's good. Once they get used to the boundary line, they'll be all right. Dad. She's doing pretty good stopping by the fence. Come on out here, Maybell. Where's Nellie at? Where's Nellie at, Maybell? All right, so obviously that was actually Nellie that was out. Maybell is acting like a chicken. Come on, Maybell. Come on, Nellie. Well, it's their first time out here, so it's going to be a little yeah, bit scared. Yeah, only the walk over here. They're confusing. Yeah. Remember when we were pulling Mabel out? There you go. You see the fence? <laughs> They're fast. Bella, what are you thinking about them goats? Them uh, cows? We keep calling them goats. We used to always have goats. <laughs> yeah. So the fence actually took about two and a half hours to put up. Not bad at all. No. This is part one. So we can always snip wire and add more posts. Expand the cow pasture. She got right out. Oh my gosh. Cow has escaped. All right, so I'll admit, the first time was a major fail. We had four rows of wire the first time. They got right out, so we went ahead and went in between the bottom two rows. So now we got a total of six rows. I think we should be good to go now. What y'all doing? Yeah. Miss May. Mark, go around the front and make sure it don't jump out. Sure it jumped out. Right, Mark. So it was a quick, easy job, even though we ended up having to add two more rows of wire. Kind of aggravating, but you know, you learn from your mistakes. Apparently, calves need six rows of wire. If they were bigger, we could have got away with four rows, but it is what it is. It's a learning curve, everybody. We're learning as we go. The cows are learning as they go. And eventually we'll all get the hang of it. Anyway, that's it on building up the fence and getting things done around here today. Yeah. Hope y'all have an awesome one. Make sure y'all smash that like button on the way out, everybody. Y'all take care now. And now you're rolling with AAP.
Hits. Uh.